Hey, 614. Now, welcome back, everyone. We've been going in depth on the youth mental health crisis in recent weeks. In this newscast, just yesterday, we talked about some of the latest information from the CDC showing about three in five teenage girls. That's 57% now say they feel persistently sad or hopeless. That's the highest rate in a decade. Think about that too. a kid always feeling hopeless. This morning, I want you to meet, meet a teenage girl who feels this struggle and watch how she's come out of it. It really uplifts your view on school, I think. Nothing short of a miracle. Yeah, it's it's really amazing. That's how Boca Raton High School senior Elise Potash feels about sitting here right now talking with us. If you told me this would be me right now, I wouldn't believe you. But believe this, Elise has put in the work to get to this good place. I myself have struggle, struggled from depression and anxiety. I think after the pandemic, everyone was like locked in for so long and there was not, um, there was no like interaction and it kind of just, like made everything that was there prior to COVID come out more. The Palm Beach County School District tells us so far this year of its roughly 180,000 students, 17,000 have worked with mental health professionals from partner agencies. The support is free at school with the biggest struggles being anxiety and depression. For Elise yeah. and her first step. It's, yeah, it's really close to my heart. Getting involved with her school's version of a national effort, We Dine Together. You just meet all of these amazing people. Making sure no one feels isolated at lunch. It's just building like a sense of community where it might otherwise not have been. And just knowing, letting everyone know that they're not alone is a really huge it makes a big difference. I love those. A year since Elise started with We Dine Together, she's now in their leadership. There are people who care. And filming and editing the school's motivational Monday videos. They are all her contributions to destigmatize the mental health conversation. The less you see it, the less you want to talk about it because you think it's something that only you deal with or only like you're like an outcast or weird or, or different from everyone else for struggling with something when honestly, if you talk to anyone for long enough, you'll see that almost everyone has had some sort of struggle in their life. Talking to you, hearing you talk about your school and your community, it makes me feel hopeful. And a lot of people watching too, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. She's just wow. awesome. And Elise is right now applying for college at a few Florida schools. You know the essays yeah. you have to write to get in. So she's going to write about her mental health journey. Write what you know. Exactly. I think what's really interesting, you, you talk to children, you talk to teens and adolescents, and they'll tell you, I'm, go I'm going through this, but they don't want to go on camera. The fact that she did, she has no idea how many other teens or peers that she'll help. It just helps to open up the conversation.